Chapter 2, The Birth of Jesus Luke 2 verses 1 to 5, KJV, And it came to pass in those days, that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. The city of Nazareth, Joseph was not in the place of his nativity because the prophecy of Micah alerted all who would be threatened by a future ruler as to his place of birth. Micah 5 verse 2 But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Many Bibles alter Micah 5 verse 2 to make Jesus out to be a created being, instead of the Creator, by claiming that he was just from ancient of days. Luke 2 verses 6 to 7, KJV, And so it was, that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Her firstborn son, Mary would have many sons and daughters. Matthew 13 verse 55 and Mark 6 verse 3. Bethlehem was the original hometown of Joseph, and he should have had family living there to take him and Mary in. The news, however, of Mary's pregnancy prior to them being officially married would have been a reason for them to be shunned by their family. Luke 2 verses 8 to 12, KJV, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And, lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. The angel of the Lord, an angel slash messenger. This shall be a sign unto you, the sign was that the Savior would be born in a place not meant for a child. A manger was made for an animal to sleep in. The Greek word fatni is translated three times as manger. The other time it is translated as a stall. Luke 13 verse 15. Luke 2 verses 13 to 14, KJV, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. A multitude of the heavenly host, Genesis 2 verse 1 KJV, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Genesis 32 verse 2 KJV, And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host, and he called the name of that place Mahanaim. Acts 7 verse 42 KJV, Then God turned, and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Luke 2 verses 15 to 20, KJV, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing, which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. The shepherds told others that the Savior was born. There were no wise men from the east in this story because they would come when Joseph and Mary were staying in a house, and the babe was a young child. Matthew 2 verses 1 to 16. Luke 2 verse 21, KJV, And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. 
Eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. Genesis 17 verses 10 to 14 KJV. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people, he hath broken my covenant. Luke 2 verses 22-23 KJV And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Exodus 13 verse 2 KJV Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Luke 2 verse 24 KJV And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Leviticus 15 verse 14 KJV and on the eighth day he shall take to him two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, and come before the Lord unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and give them unto the priest. The days of her purification, if a woman had a male child, she would wait seven days before she could be cleansed, and fourteen days if it was a female child. Leviticus 12 verses 1 to 8 KJV and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, and born a man-child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation for her infirmity shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying threescore and six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, for a son, or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon, or a turtle dove, for a sin offering, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, unto the priest, who shall offer it before the Lord and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law for her that hath borne a male or a female. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, the one for the burnt offering, and the other for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. That is why the family would circumcise a boy on the eighth day, because the mother would be unclean the first seven days. A picture of life after the millennium, seventh day. Joseph and Mary were still poor because the offering was based on what you could afford. The three wise men did not appear with gold, frankincense, and myrrh until two years after Jesus' circumcision. Two more witnesses. Simeon. Luke 2 verse 25, KJV, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. A man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, Simeon was justified under the law. He was a believer amongst a bunch of religious folks, and he was about to meet a newborn babe that was just named Jesus in the preceding verses, which means salvation. Waiting for the consolation of Israel, the redemption of Israel by the Messiah. Verses 32 to 34 below. Luke 2 verses 26 to 27, KJV, And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost, that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, to circumcise him. Luke 2 verses 28 to 32, KJV, 
Then took he him up in his arms, and blessed God, and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Isaiah 49 verse 6 KJV and he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, Jesus' name meant salvation. Zacharias prophesied that all flesh would see the salvation of God in the person of the Messiah in Luke 3 verse 6. A light to lighten the Gentiles. The Jews will be a light to the Gentiles during the Millennial Kingdom. Luke 2 verses 33 to 35, KJV, And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against, yeah, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The fall and rising again of many in Israel, the stumble and fall of those that didn't believe that Jesus was the Christ, and the rising again of many being the little flock who believed. Jesus' own family did not believe who he was at the beginning, they did later on. They will be resurrected in their kingdom to rule and reign with him. John 7 verses 2 to 8 KJV Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, shew thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hadeth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. Acts 1 verse 14 KJV These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. A sign which shall be spoken against, the sign of the virgin birth. Isaiah 7 verse 14 KJV Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. The sign of Jesus being in the heart of the earth and rising again after three days and three nights. Matthew 12 verses 39 to 40 A sword shall pierce through thine own soul also. Mary will have a hard time in her life with things that are said by and about Jesus. The thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Jesus knew what was in the children of Israel's heart, and he exposed their thoughts. Matthew 12 verses 22 to 37 and Luke 6 verses 1 to 11. Anna the prophetess. Luke 2 verse 36, KJV, And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Azar. She was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. A prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, Luke mentions who Anna's father was, and what tribe she was from Asher, because she was from the ten northern tribes, part of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. She was of great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. She was married for seven years, one biblical week. Her great-grandmother was Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, which she gave to Jacob. Genesis 30 verses 12 to 13 KJV And Zilpah Leah's maid bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed, and she called his name Asher. Luke 2 verses 37 to 38 KJV And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. She was a widow of about fourscore and four years, she was eighty-four years old. A score equals twenty years. She was married for seven of those years, leaving seventy-seven years. 
She coming in that instant, the instant that Simeon finished his prophecy from the Holy Ghost concerning the consolation of Israel. Redemption in Jerusalem was synonymous with the consolation of Israel. Luke 2 verse 25 Their testimony along with that of the shepherds in Bethlehem gave hope to all that looked for redemption in Israel that their Messiah would soon deliver them. It was also said of Joseph of Arimathea that he was waiting on the kingdom in Luke 23 verse 51, Luke 2 verses 39 to 40, KJV, and when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. All things according to the law of the Lord, Jesus' circumcision, and their offering for the Lord. The child grew and waxed strong in the spirit. This is also said about John the Baptist as a child. Luke 1 verse 80. Luke 2 verse 41, KJV, now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. The feast of the Passover. The feast of the Passover was to be kept on the evening of the 14th day of the first month of the year, which is the month of Abib. He was 12 years old. Why does the scripture only record Jesus at 12 years of age going up to Jerusalem to the feast of Passover and not for any other year? 12 is the number of Israel in the Bible. There were 12 tribes, 12 patriarchs, and later there were 12 apostles that will sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Genesis 35 verse 22 KJV and it came to pass, when Israel dwelled in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, Matthew 19 verse 28 KJV, And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. If you read Revelation chapters 21 to 22, there are numerous twelves mentioned as being associated with the city of New Jerusalem and the Tree of Life. There Jesus would see the Passover lamb killed and eaten that night. Paul tells us that Jesus was our Passover who was sacrificed for us. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7 KJV Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Here Jesus was in the place where all the types of what he would do in the future were being played out before his eyes, and he was at the age where he could talk to the religious leaders about it. Luke 2 verses 43 to 47, KJV, And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass, that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were a stony chapter too. The Birth of Jesus Luke 2 verses 1 to 5, KJV, And it came to pass in those days, that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. The city of Nazareth, Joseph was not in the place of his nativity because the prophecy of Micah alerted all who would be threatened by a future ruler as to his place of birth. Micah 5 verse 2 But thou, Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Many Bibles alter Micah 5 verse 2 to make Jesus out to be a created being, instead of the Creator, by claiming that he was just from ancient of days. Luke 2 verses 6 to 7, KJV, And so it was, that, while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. 
And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Her firstborn son, Mary would have many sons and daughters. Matthew 13 verse 55 and Mark 6 verse 3. Bethlehem was the original hometown of Joseph, and he should have had family living there to take him and Mary in. The news, however, of Mary's pregnancy prior to them being officially married would have been a reason for them to be shunned by their family. Luke 2 verses 8 to 12, KJV, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And, lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. The angel of the Lord, an angel slash messenger. This shall be a sign unto you, the sign was that the Savior would be born in a place not meant for a child. A manger was made for an animal to sleep in. The Greek word fatni is translated three times as manger. The other time it is translated as a stall. Luke 13 verse 15. Luke 2 verses 13 to 14, KJV, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. A multitude of the heavenly host, Genesis 2 verse 1 KJV, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. Genesis 32 verse 2 KJV, And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host, and he called the name of that place Mahanaim. Acts 7 verse 42 KJV, Then God turned, and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Luke 2 verses 15 to 20, KJV, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing, which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. The shepherds told others that the Savior was born. There were no wise men from the east in this story because they would come when Joseph and Mary were staying in a house, and the babe was a young child. Matthew 2 verses 1 to 16. Luke 2 verse 21, KJV, And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, Genesis 17 verses 10 to 14 KJV, This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee, every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people, he hath broken my covenant. Luke 2 verses 22 to 23, KJV, And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem, to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Exodus 13 verse 2 KJV Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Luke 2 verse 24 
KJV, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. Leviticus 15 verse 14 KJV And on the eighth day he shall take to him two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, and come before the Lord unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and give them unto the priest. The days of her purification, if a woman had a male child, she would wait seven days before she could be cleansed, and fourteen days if it was a female child. Leviticus 12 verses 1 to 8 KJV And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, and born a man-child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation for her infirmity shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying threescore and six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled, for a son, or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon, or a turtle dove, for a sin offering, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, unto the priest, who shall offer it before the Lord and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law for her that hath born a male or a female. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, the one for the burnt offering, and the other for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean. That is why the family would circumcise a boy on the eighth day, because the mother would be unclean the first seven days. A picture of life after the millennium, seventh day. Joseph and Mary were still poor because the offering was based on what you could afford. The three wise men did not appear with gold, frankincense, and myrrh until two years after Jesus' circumcision. Two more witnesses. Simeon. Luke 2 verse 25, KJV, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was upon him. A man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, Simeon was justified under the law. He was a believer amongst a bunch of religious folks, and he was about to meet a newborn babe that was just named Jesus in the preceding verses, which means salvation. Waiting for the consolation of Israel, the redemption of Israel by the Messiah. Verses 32 to 34 below. Luke 2 verses 26 to 27, KJV, And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost, that he should not see death, before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law, to circumcise him. Luke 2 verses 28 to 32, KJV, Then took he him up in his arms, and blessed God, and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Isaiah 49 verse 6 KJV And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Mine eyes have seen thy salvation, Jesus' name meant salvation. Zacharias prophesied that all flesh would see the salvation of God in the person of the Messiah in Luke 3 verse 6. A light to lighten the Gentiles. The Jews will be a light to the Gentiles during the Millennial Kingdom. Luke 2 verses 33 to 35, KJV, And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against, Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The fall and rising again of many in Israel, 
the stumble and fall of those that didn't believe that Jesus was the Christ, and the rising again of many being the little flock who believed. Jesus' own family did not believe who he was at the beginning, they did later on. They will be resurrected in their kingdom to rule and reign with him. John 7 verses 2 to 8 KJV Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, shew thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. Acts 1 verse 14 KJV These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. A sign which shall be spoken against, the sign of the virgin birth. Isaiah 7 verse 14 KJV Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign, Behold, a virgin shall conceive, and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. The sign of Jesus being in the heart of the earth and rising again after three days and three nights. Matthew 12 verses 39 to 40 a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also, Mary will have a hard time in her life with things that are said by and about Jesus. The thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Jesus knew what was in the children of Israel's heart, and he exposed their thoughts. Matthew 12 verses 22 to 37 and Luke 6 verses 1 to 11. Anna the Prophetess. Luke 2 verse 36, KJV, and there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Azar, she was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. A prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher, Luke mentions who Anna's father was and what tribe she was from Asher, because she was from the ten northern tribes, part of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. She was of great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. She was married for seven years, one biblical week. Her great-grandmother was Silpa, Leah's handmaid, which she gave to Jacob. Genesis 30 verses 12 to 13 KJV And Zilpah Leah's maid bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed, and she called his name Asher. Luke 2 verses 37 to 38, KJV, And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. She was a widow of about fourscore and four years, she was eighty-four years old. A score equals twenty years. She was married for seven of those years, leaving seventy-seven years. She coming in that instant, the instant that Simeon finished his prophecy from the Holy Ghost concerning the consolation of Israel. Redemption in Jerusalem was synonymous with the consolation of Israel. Luke 2 verse 25 Their testimony along with that of the shepherds in Bethlehem gave hope to all that looked for redemption in Israel that their Messiah would soon deliver them. It was also said of Joseph of Arimathea that he was waiting on the kingdom in Luke 23 verse 51. Luke 2 verses 39 to 40, KJV, And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. All things according to the law of the Lord, Jesus' circumcision, and their offering for the Lord. The child grew and waxed strong in the spirit. This is also said about John the Baptist as a child. Luke 1 verse 80. Luke 2 verse 41, KJV, Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. The feast of the Passover. The feast of the Passover was to be kept on the evening of the 14th day of the first month of the year, which is the month of Abib. 
He was 12 years old. Why does the scripture only record Jesus at 12 years of age going up to Jerusalem to the feast of Passover and not for any other year? 12 is the number of Israel in the Bible. There were 12 tribes, 12 patriarchs, and later there were 12 apostles that will sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Genesis 35 verse 22 KJV And it came to pass, when Israel dwelled in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, Matthew 19 verse 28 KJV, And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. If you read Revelation chapters 21 to 22, there are numerous twelves mentioned as being associated with the city of New Jerusalem and the Tree of Life. There Jesus would see the Passover lamb killed and eaten that night. Paul tells us that Jesus was our Passover who was sacrificed for us. 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7 KJV Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Here Jesus was in the place where all the types of what he would do in the future were being played out before his eyes, and he was at the age where he could talk to the religious leaders about it. Luke 2 verses 43 to 47, KJV, And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass, that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. After three days, one day's journey out, one day's journey back, and one day looking for him in the wrong places. This was the time in the life of a Jewish boy where he would enter into manhood, which is called a bar mitzvah. Sitting in the midst of the doctors, these were doctors of religion who had achieved a certain level of credentials in the field of religion. Jesus turned the bar mitzvah around and he taught these men with their doctorate degrees in religion with his questions and answers. Luke 2 verses 48 to 50, KJV, And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. Thy father and I, here Mary incorrectly calls Joseph Jesus' father, and Jesus corrects her as he has now become an adult under the law having passed his bar mitzvah. Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Joseph was speaking about his heavenly father. Jesus would continue on as an adult asking people questions and making statements that would not make sense if they were asked by any other human being. Jesus was the Godman, so the questions and statements that he made would make perfect sense since they were asked by God. He was the only one who could have made the statements he made and not have been a blasphemer. Luke 2 verses 51 to 52, KJV, And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. But Mary kept all these sayings in her heart. She didn't ask him about these sayings. And Jesus increased in wisdom. God had never experienced what his creation did, because he never got tired or hungry until his incarnation. Chapter 3 John begins his public ministry. Luke 3 verses 1 to 2, KJV, Now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of Iturea and of the region of Trachonitis, and Lysanias the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, the word of God came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. 
The word of God came unto John. The word of God came to John when he was thirty, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, not while he was in his mother's womb, nor from his father. John was in the wilderness unto the day of his shewing unto Israel on his thirtieth birthday. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV From thirty years old and upward even until fifty years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Luke 3 verses 3 to 6, KJV, And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Isaiah 40 verses 3 to 5 KJV The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Make his path straight. The paths that are to be made straight are the ways Israel was going that were not according to the covenant they made with God. The crooked shall be made straight, Israel was crooked in their ways, and only when they returned to the covenant that they had made with God would they be made straight. Every mountain and hill shall be brought low, the mountains of tradition would have to be made low, so the truth of God's word could once again be heard and obeyed. The mountains will actually be brought low, and Mount Zion will be exalted above all others in that day. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Six months after John began his ministry in the wilderness, Israel would finally meet the salvation of God. When Israel saw Jesus, they saw the salvation of God standing in front of them, but many did not have eyes to see. Luke 3 verse 7, KJV, Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? O generation of vipers, in Matthew 3 verse 7 John tells us that it was the Pharisees and Sadducees that he called vipers. The wrath to come is the wrath of the 70th week of Daniel, also called the time of Jacob's trouble, which comes just prior to the kingdom. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 Alas! For that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Isaiah 13 verse 9 Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Isaiah 13 verse 13 KJV Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. Luke 3 verse 8 KJV, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Bring forth fruits meet for repentance, Israel's works were compared to fruit in the Bible. If Israel were obedient to their covenant, they would be considered to be bearing good fruit, or much fruit. If they were disobedient to their covenant, then they were said to be bearing no fruit, or wicked fruit. Israel was not bearing good fruit, so they had a time to repent, or they would be cut down as the nation of blessing. They did not repent, and they later killed their Messiah, and were eventually cut down and off as a nation. Luke 16 verses 1 to 9 Luke 3 verse 9, KJV, And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. The axe is laid unto the root of the trees, Israel, is compared to a tree throughout scripture. Luke 13 verses 1 to 9, And cast into the fire, those who did not produce good fruit would be cast into the fires of hell. The Remedy Luke 3 verses 10 to 11, KJV, And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none, and he that hath meat, let him do likewise. 
This is in perfect harmony with what Jesus would be telling his followers. Luke 12 verse 33, John's baptism. Luke 3 verses 12 to 14, KJV, Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. The gospel of the kingdom that John preached will not save anyone today. It regarded Israel's entrance into her kingdom, not your entrance into heaven. Luke 3 verses 15 to 16, KJV, And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latch of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I indeed baptize you with water. John baptized Israel with the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. One verse that shows us three of the different types of baptisms in the Bible, and there are more. Matthew 3 verse 16. All priests in the kingdom had to be washed with water before they began their priesthood. Israel was promised to a kingdom of priests. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 and Numbers 4 colon 3. One mightier than I cometh, one who is greater than John. He is speaking about Jesus. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. This occurred first on Pentecost. It is also called in those chapters being filled with the Holy Spirit. Joel says that God will pour out his spirit in the last days. Pentecost was the last days of something, not the first day of the church. It was the last days of Israel's prophecy program before it was interrupted by the dispensation of grace. Ephesians 3 verse 2 KJV If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, Lord, and with fire, this baptism will be for unbelievers in hell. Luke 3 verse 17 KJV whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. Gather the wheat into his garner, the believers will be gathered like wheat into his garner, his kingdom. Haggai 2. The chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable, the unbelievers, the chaff, will be purged thoroughly even from the floor and burned with fire unquenchable. Mark 9 verses 43 to 45, Luke 3 verses 18 to 20, KJV, and many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Jesus' Baptism Luke 3 verse 21, KJV, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened. Jesus also being baptized, the first requirement to be Israel's high priest was that the person needed to be washed with water, his baptism. Exodus 29 verse 4 KJV And Aaron and his sons thou shalt bring unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shalt wash them with water. Exodus 30 verse 20 KJV, when they go into the tabernacle of chapter 3. John begins his public ministry. Luke 3 verses 1 to 2, KJV, Now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of Iturea and of the region of Trachonitis, and Lysanias the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, the word of God came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. The word of God came unto John, The word of God came to John when he was thirty, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, not while he was in his mother's womb, nor from his father. John was in the wilderness unto the day of his shewing unto Israel on his thirtieth birthday. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV From thirty years old and upward even until fifty years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. 
Luke 3 verses 3 to 6, KJV, And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Isaiah 40 verses 3 to 5 KJV The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Make his path straight. The paths that are to be made straight are the ways Israel was going that were not according to the covenant they made with God. The crooked shall be made straight, Israel was crooked in their ways, and only when they returned to the covenant that they had made with God would they be made straight. Every mountain and hill shall be brought low, the mountains of tradition would have to be made low, so the truth of God's word could once again be heard and obeyed. The mountains will actually be brought low, and Mount Zion will be exalted above all others in that day. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Six months after John began his ministry in the wilderness, Israel would finally meet the salvation of God. When Israel saw Jesus, they saw the salvation of God standing in front of them, but many did not have eyes to see. Luke 3 verse 7, KJV, Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? O generation of vipers, in Matthew 3 verse 7 John tells us that it was the Pharisees and Sadducees that he called vipers. The wrath to come is the wrath of the 70th week of Daniel, also called the time of Jacob's trouble, which comes just prior to the kingdom. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 Alas! For that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Isaiah 13 verse 9 Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Isaiah 13 verse 13 KJV Therefore I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. Luke 3 verse 8 KJV, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Bring forth fruits meet for repentance, Israel's works were compared to fruit in the Bible. If Israel were obedient to their covenant, they would be considered to be bearing good fruit, or much fruit. If they were disobedient to their covenant, then they were said to be bearing no fruit, or wicked fruit. Israel was not bearing good fruit, so they had a time to repent, or they would be cut down as the nation of blessing. They did not repent, and they later killed their Messiah, and were eventually cut down and off as a nation. Luke 16 verses 1 to 9 Luke 3 verse 9, KJV, And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. The axe is laid unto the root of the trees, Israel, is compared to a tree throughout scripture. Luke 13 verses 1 to 9, And cast into the fire, those who did not produce good fruit would be cast into the fires of hell. The remedy. Luke 3 verses 10 to 11, KJV, And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none, and he that hath meat, let him do likewise. This is in perfect harmony with what Jesus would be telling his followers. Luke 12 verse 33. John's Baptism Luke 3 verses 12 to 14, KJV, Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? 
And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. The gospel of the kingdom that John preached will not save anyone today. It regarded Israel's entrance into her kingdom, not your entrance into heaven. Luke 3 verses 15 to 16, KJV, And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ, or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. I indeed baptize you with water. John baptized Israel with the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. One verse that shows us three of the different types of baptisms in the Bible, and there are more. Matthew 3 verse 16. All priests in the kingdom had to be washed with water before they began their priesthood. Israel was promised to a kingdom of priests. Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 and Numbers 4 colon 3. One mightier than I cometh, one who is greater than John. He is speaking about Jesus. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. This occurred first on Pentecost. It is also called in those chapters being filled with the Holy Spirit. Joel says that God will pour out his spirit in the last days. Pentecost was the last days of something, not the first day of the church. It was the last days of Israel's prophecy program before it was interrupted by the dispensation of grace. Ephesians 3 verse 2 KJV If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, Lord, and with fire, this baptism will be for unbelievers in hell. Luke 3 verse 17, KJV, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and will gather the wheat into his garner, but the chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable. Gather the wheat into his garner, the believers will be gathered like wheat into his garner, his kingdom. Haggai 2. The chaff he will burn with fire unquenchable, the unbelievers, the chaff, will be purged thoroughly even from the floor and burned with fire unquenchable. Mark 9 verses 43 to 45. Luke 3 verses 18 to 20, KJV, and many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. Jesus' Baptism Luke 3 verse 21, KJV, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass, that Jesus also being baptized, and praying, the heaven was opened. Jesus also being baptized, the first requirement to be Israel's high priest was that the person needed to be washed with water, his baptism. Exodus 29 verse 4 KJV and Aaron and his sons thou shalt bring unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shalt wash them with water. Exodus 30 verse 20 KJV, When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto the Lord. Exodus 40 verse 12 KJV, And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. The heaven was opened, Genesis 7 verse 11 KJV, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Psalm 78 verse 23 KJV, though he had commanded the clouds from above, and opened the doors of heaven, Acts 10 verse 11 KJV, and saw heaven opened, and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners, and let down to the earth, Revelation 4 verse 1 KJV, after this I looked, and, behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things which must be hereafter. Revelation 19 verse 11 KJV, And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Jesus' Anointing Luke 3 verse 22 
KJV, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. The Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. The second requirement to be Israel's high priest is that he needed to be anointed. Leviticus 8 verses 6 to 12 KJV And Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. And he put upon him the coat, and girded him with the girdle, and clothed him with the robe, and put the ephod upon him, and he girded him with the curious girdle of the ephod, and bound it unto him therewith. And he put the breastplate upon him also, he put in the breastplate the urim and the thummim. And he put the mitre upon his head, also, upon the mitre, even upon his forefront, did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil, and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all his vessels, both the laver and his foot, to sanctify them. And he poured of the anointing oil upon Aaron's head, and anointed him, to sanctify him. Jesus was then anointed with the Holy Ghost when it descended upon him. Oil is a type of the Holy Spirit in the Bible. Luke 4 verse 18, Acts 4 verse 27 and 1038. Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. God also says that Jesus is his beloved Son at his transfiguration. Luke 9 verse 35. At that time he tells those with him to hear him. Jesus' birthday. Luke 3 verse 23. KJV, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Jesus began his ministry on his 30th birthday, because the law stated that a priest could not begin his ministry until that age. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV. From 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. The Genealogy of Jesus Luke 3 verses 24 to 31, KJV, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Janna, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Metathias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Naam, which was the son of Esli, which was the son of Nag, which was the son of Math, which was the son of Metathias, which was the son of Simei which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Risa, which was the son of Zorobabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Neri, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Adi, which was the son of Kosum, which was the son of Elmodam, which was the son of Er, which was the son of Jose, which was the son of Eliezer, which was the son of Joram, which was the son of Mathat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eliakim, which was the son of Malia, which was the son of Menon, which was the son of Metatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David. The son of Nathan, which was the son of David, this lineage differs from the one in Matthew, because there is a curse put on the descendants of David by God, which made Satan think he had won the battle in preventing the Messiah from ever becoming king. The lineage from David was cursed in the days of Jeconias because he would not repent and follow the word of God from Jeremiah to surrender unto Nebuchadnezzar. Matthew 1 verse 12 And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begot Salathiel, and Salathiel begot Zorobabel. Jeremiah 22 verse 29 O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. 30 Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. Not all of David's seed line was cursed because of Jeconiah, which is why the need for two lineages in the Gospels. The line from Joseph was cursed, but the line from Mary was not cursed. Luke's lineage is that of Mary which flows from David's son Nathan, not from his son Solomon, as found in Matthew 1 verse 6. Luke 3 verses 32 to 38, 
KJV, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Booz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Nason, which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Esram, which was the son of Phares, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Therah, which was the son of Nachor, which was the son of Sarek, which was the son of Rigo, which was the son of Phalek, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Sala, which was the son of Kainan, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of No, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malaleel, which was the son of Kainan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Matthew's lineage also differed in that it started with David and Abraham and ended with Joseph and Jesus. This one starts at Mary's father and goes back to Adam. Chapter 4 Jesus' Temptation Luke 4 verses 1 to 2, KJV, And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, this was also said of Barnabas and Stephen. Led by the Spirit into the wilderness, Jesus also cast out devils by the Spirit. Matthew 12 verse 28 KJV But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Luke 4 verses 14 and 18 KJV, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, John 3 verse 34 KJV, For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Being forty days tempted of the devil, forty is the number of testings in the scriptures. The children of Israel spent forty years wandering in the wilderness. Luke 4 verses 3 to 4, KJV, And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command the stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Deuteronomy 8 verse 3 KJV, And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. If thou be the Son of God, Satan knew who Jesus was, but he was trying to get Jesus to act independently of the Father. Jesus didn't prove his deity to the devil when he wanted him to, and he wasn't going to do it for Israel either. Luke 4 verse 5, KJV, And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, shoot unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. An high mountain, this could have been the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north spoken about by the devil himself in Isaiah 14 verse 13 KJV, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Luke 4 verses 6 to 7, KJV, And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. Exodus 20 verses 3 to 5 KJV, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All this power will I give unto thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, here Jesus is offered the kingdoms of this world by the God of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 KJV 
in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Jesus didn't dispute with the devil concerning his claim to having had the kingdoms of this world delivered unto him. This happened at the fall of man when Adam lost his dominion. The devil offered Jesus the kingdoms of this world without Jesus having to suffer and die on the cross. Jesus rejected the devil's offer. Luke 4 verses 9 to 10, KJV, And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 KJV, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. The Son of God is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 and 1 John 5 verse 7. Luke 4 verse 12, KJV, And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 6 verse 16 KJV, Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God, as ye tempted him in Massa. Matthew 4 verse 7 KJV, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Luke 4 verses 13 to 14 KJV, And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. It was the Holy Spirit that was Jesus' guide leading him every day. It was the Father that told him what he was to do wherever he went. Luke 4 verses 15 to 16, KJV, And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. He came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Jesus had spent his last 23 years living in Nazareth waiting to begin his ministry at 30 years of age. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. For 30 years Jesus went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day because it was the custom of all Jews. Jesus went to the synagogue because all Jews went to the synagogue during the time prior to the cross. The Sabbath day was taught to the nation of Israel just prior to receiving the law at Mount Sinai. Israel was not under the law, nor did they keep the Sabbath while they were slaves in Egypt or before. Nehemiah 9 verses 13 to 14 KJV Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, and spakest with them from heaven, and gavest them right judgments, and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and madest known unto them thy holy Sabbath, and commandest them precepts, statutes, and laws, by the hand of Moses thy servant. Luke 4 verses 17 to 19, KJV, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus stops before finishing Isaiah 61 verse 2 where it goes on to tell of the day of vengeance of our God, because that will occur at his second coming. Luke 4 verses 20 to 21, KJV, And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus was anointed at his baptism by the Holy Spirit to preach the good news of the kingdom, the gospel. Luke 4 verse 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Matthew 4 verse 23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. 
To preach the acceptable year of the Lord, many in Nazareth wanted to kill Jesus for telling them that this portion of scripture spoke of him. Isaiah 61 verse 2 KJV To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Luke 4 verses 22 to 24 KJV And all bear him witness and wondered at the chapter 4. Jesus' Temptation Luke 4 verses 1 to 2, KJV, And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, this was also said of Barnabas and Stephen. Led by the Spirit into the wilderness, Jesus also cast out devils by the Spirit. Matthew 12 verse 28 KJV But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Luke 4 verses 14 and 18 KJV And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, John 3 verse 34 KJV, For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Being forty days tempted of the devil, forty is the number of testings in the scriptures. The children of Israel spent forty years wandering in the wilderness. Luke 4 verses 3 to 4, KJV, And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command the stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Deuteronomy 8 verse 3 KJV And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. If thou be the Son of God, Satan knew who Jesus was, but he was trying to get Jesus to act independently of the Father. Jesus didn't prove his deity to the devil when he wanted him to, and he wasn't going to do it for Israel either. Luke 4 verse 5, KJV, And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, shoot unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. An high mountain, this could have been the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north spoken about by the devil himself in Isaiah 14 verse 13 KJV, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Luke 4 verses 6 to 7, KJV, And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. Exodus 20 verses 3 to 5 KJV, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All this power will I give unto thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, here Jesus is offered the kingdoms of this world by the God of this world. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 KJV In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Jesus didn't dispute with the devil concerning his claim to having had the kingdoms of this world delivered unto him. This happened at the fall of man when Adam lost his dominion. The devil offered Jesus the kingdoms of this world without Jesus having to suffer and die on the cross. Jesus rejected the devil's offer. Luke 4 verses 9 to 10, K 
KJV, And he brought him to Jerusalem, and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 KJV, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. The Son of God is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 and 1 John 5 verse 7. Luke 4 verse 12, KJV, And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 6 verse 16 KJV, Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God, as ye tempted him in Massa. Matthew 4 verse 7 KJV, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Luke 4 verses 13 to 14, KJV, And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. It was the Holy Spirit that was Jesus' guide leading him every day. It was the Father that told him what he was to do wherever he went. Luke 4 verses 15 to 16, KJV, And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. He came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Jesus had spent his last 23 years living in Nazareth waiting to begin his ministry at 30 years of age. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. For thirty years Jesus went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day because it was the custom of all Jews. Jesus went to the synagogue because all Jews went to the synagogue during the time prior to the cross. The Sabbath day was taught to the nation of Israel just prior to receiving the law at Mount Sinai. Israel was not under the law, nor did they keep the Sabbath while they were slaves in Egypt or before. Nehemiah 9 verses 13 to 14 KJV Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai, and spakest with them from heaven, and gavest them right judgments, and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and madest known unto them thy holy Sabbath, and commandest them precepts, statutes, and laws, by the hand of Moses thy servant. Luke 4 verses 17 to 19 KJV And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Jesus stops before finishing Isaiah 61 verse 2 where it goes on to tell of the day of vengeance of our God, because that will occur at his second coming. Luke 4 verses 20 to 21, KJV, And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Jesus was anointed at his baptism by the Holy Spirit to preach the good news of the kingdom, the gospel. Luke 4 verse 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Matthew 4 verse 23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord, many in Nazareth wanted to kill Jesus for telling them that this portion of scripture spoke of him. Isaiah 61 verse 2 KJV To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Luke 4 verses 22 to 24, KJV, And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? 
And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself, whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. John 4 verse 44 KJV For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. Luke 4 verses 25 to 26 KJV But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. 1 Kings 17 verse 9 KJV Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. The days of Elias, Elijah. Sarepta, a city of Sidon, a Gentile city, in a Gentile land. Luke 4 verse 27, KJV, And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elysius the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. The time of Elysius the prophet, Elisha the prophet, Naaman the Syrian, 2 Kings 5. The examples Jesus gave were of Gentiles being blessed, while Israel suffered because of their unbelief. Luke 4 verses 28 to 29, KJV, And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and rose up, and thrust him out of the city, and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. Jesus begins to heal people. Luke 4 verse 30, KJV, but he passing through the midst of them went his way. Luke 13 verse 33, Nevertheless, I must walk today, and tomorrow, and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. Luke 4 verses 31 to 34, KJV, and came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man, which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God, a spirit of an unclean devil, a fallen angel. I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God, the devils knew him. Mark 1 verse 34, And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. Luke 4 verses 35 to 36, KJV, And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and heard him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, what a word is this! For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. Jesus was showing Israel that he had power over the unclean spirits. In the kingdom, the devil is going to be bound in the bottomless pit for 1,000 years. Revelation 20 verse 2 KJV And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Luke 4 verses 37 to 39, KJV, And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Simon's wife's mother, Simon Peter, was married and had a mother-in-law. Luke 4 verse 40, KJV, Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. He laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Jesus healed everyone in Israel that had any infirmities in their flesh, because he was preaching the kingdom of heaven was at hand. Matthew 4 verse 17. Anyone with an infirmity in the flesh could not be a priest according to the law of Moses, and God had promised to make the whole nation a kingdom of priests. 
Exodus 19 verses 5 to 6 KJV Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Luke 4 verse 41 KJV And devils also came out of many, crying out, and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. The Son of God is the second person of the Godhead slash Trinity. Colossians 2 verse 9 and 1 John 5 verse 7. He rebuking them suffered them not to speak. It was by his word alone that he would prove he was their Messiah. Luke 4 verses 42 to 44, KJV, And when it was day, he departed and went into a desert place, and the people sought him, and came unto him, and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, Jesus preached the kingdom of God was at hand. This is the same thing mentioned in Matthew 3 verse 2 and 4 17. Only Matthew called it the kingdom of heaven.